It is time, once again, to lock your doors, shut your windows, strap yourself into your favorite comfy chair, and tune out and tune into The Naked Zombie. to another enthralling episode of The Naked Zombie. Now, as I've been promising you for the last several weeks now that I was going to do the big review, reveal, so I have been drinking Red Bull all night, just to stay awake, I have two gentlemen, two wonderful gentlemen, whose theme song is Willies, Willies, I Love Willies, are going to join us on Naked Zombie TV in their own special segment. Please welcome... To the Naked Zombie, again, if you haven't guessed out who it is, it's the boys from Geek Speak. It's Cheech and Todd. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. I'm not a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lady. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're, we're ladies, not. <laughs> hey, boys, how are you? And thank you. Thank you for joining me on the show tonight for the big reveal. Oh, it's you. an absolute pleasure to be here, Brad. Yeah, very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a lady. Um, for you guys to be on Naked Zombie TV. And this is the thing that people don't realise, but this is what I'm going to reveal tonight. The boys are actually going to be doing a 10-minute segment on Naked Zombie TV when we start recording in the middle of April. They're going to have what's known, and it's going to be a new genre of awesomeness, is going to be Geek Speak Spooky. <gasps> <laughs> I've, I've, oh, it's big spooky. <laughs> I've got the chills. And did you like the intro, Willy Willies, I Love Willies? Side of it. That's uh, I hope that. you're talking about yourself there, Brad. No, no, that was, I'm, I'm, that was for uh, you guys. <laughs> no, mate, I'm, you've got uh, – look, that's filthy, dirty, vicious rumour, Brad. Uh, Wade and I both like the giny, giny, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and Johnny. Uh, oh, it started like already. Morning, it? Johnny in the evening, I, Johnny all day. We used to love we we love that song. Uh, I want Smoo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. not that I like Willie's. I mean, yeah. not that Willie Nelson's anything wrong with him. So, I like that I song like, stuck in the middle with Smoo. Yeah, I like that too. Mm. So, so I'm just going to sit here and eat my apple pie. We used to just crap on for another hour. Keep going. Speaking of apple pie, I watched American Pie last night, and Jin's tuned in at the same time. We yeah. both tuned in the bit where he's banging the apple pie. Mm. Yeah. Classic TV, that. Todd, Todd, Todd uh, sends me a message. Hey, American Pie is on. Oh, oh cool. I'll flick it over. Ah, oh, he's rooting the pie. <laughs> Could have rung me at, at another part where Shannon Elizabeth had her top off. But yeah, I well, stayed around it. for that. <laughs> stayed around for that. That was She's gorgeous, Shannon Elizabeth. I, don't know whether she, I haven't seen her in years. Brad, have you seen Shannon Elizabeth yeah, in years? Yeah, yeah. I've got her kept in my cupboard right now. She's oh, oh that's what her. she's doing. <laughs> no so, wonder we couldn't track it down. Well, that's right, mate. This, this, this is the way the Brad rolls. <laughs> The yeah. all, all, all the good-looking ladies. Sorry when someone gives himself <laughs> the in front of his name. I'm texting myself as a third person here. That's how it I'm, works. Well, it? I'm the ginge. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah, he is the ginge. That's what we I'm call him. I'm the godfather. <laughs> the godfather. <You> hey, guys, <laughs> guess what? I have some really cool news about the TV series as well. Cool. Sweet. Okay, I have made an executive decision. Drum roll. Can <laughs> somebody... <laughs> Naked Zombie TV will be shown on the Naked Zombie website only. Wow. Yes, oh, look, I've made, I've made a decision because, look, basically at the end of the day, I, I feel that having it running on the website itself will yeah. give it its own entity, which it makes it its own thing, if you know what I mean. Fine, having, yeah, it, yeah. On, having it on a TV station is great and everything like that, and I think that's cool, but... I get a lot more time to play with it. I get a lot more time to create what I want to create on it, and I make no apologies for the shit that's going to be on there. Uh, <laughs> and I make, and the simple fact is, I can get whoever I want involved involved to do it, and that's the way the Brad rolls. So there you go, gentlemen, and I'm sure I have your ten percent support on that. Mate, you certainly do. I tell yeah. you what, the best thing is you can do what you want without restrictions too. That's right. Uh, you it's, know? it's something that we've been discussing over the last couple of weeks. 
about which way Geekspeak should be heading, whether it should be purely an online presence, and that's pretty much what the conclusion we've come to as well. We're uh, just about to kick off our, our third season of TV, and, and don't get me wrong, most mm-hmm. of our TV partners, you, uh, 90% of our TV partners have been absolutely fantastic, and we'd love to keep bringing stuff out with them. We probably will, yep. but our main focus will be going back to what we started out with, which was web presence, because yep. we get the, the immediate feedback and our biggest presence comes from the web, so uh, we will right. be putting a, a bit of a focus back on that this year with Geeks. And you, get to, and you get to have that immediate uh, interaction with the audience. Look, the main reason is because, look, I've known you guys for quite a while now and we are very much tainted with the same hideous brush of anarchy. And, I was going to say, did you just and, call Ginge hideous? Because I only I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> and, it's in my contract, Brad. <laughs> and twisted sadness at the same time. So, oh, look, see, this way I thought, having, having look, you guys have your own thing, but what, we're, what I'm also going to do is... To make it interesting for the viewers, we're going to do our own skits and that, like do up our own little short, um, like little funny crap. You know, you know what my sense of humour is like. If I'm not sure. ups- if I'm not upsetting somebody, I'm usually making someone cry with sheer. If you're not laughter upsetting someone. You haven't done your job properly. That's for the day, right. Brad. And, and I'll tell you what, I tend to do that a lot for some reason. If you notice the latest posts on the Facebook fan site, <laughs> there's been a few people ask me about. So what is it about? What's Naked Zombie about? And I said boats. <laughs> Big boats. boats. Really? You've got people asking. Oh my gosh! No, seriously. Are you being, are you being trolled? I think I may be. I don't know, um, but it's quite uh, funny actually. So um, I, I don't have. I, I see when someone sort of whether they troll me or not. If someone asks me a question, I'm not going to give a serious answer. Yeah. If it's on the Facebook fan site, if they contact me personally in email, yeah, that's different. But the the Facebook fan site, as you know, is a place of joy and harmony and just rubbishing the shit out of each other. Mm. So, right. and that's why I, I tend. That's how the Brad rolls again. The I've Brad. I'm worried about the Brad. I'm going to see how many times this is this is a competition. See how many times I say the Brad tonight, <laughs> and see if people can pick it up and actually get back to me on that. Because I, I have no idea. Do you know what it reminds me of? What? Do you remember smoking the bandit? Dom yeah. DeLuise and Burt Reynolds. Don't talk about him. <laughs> he doesn't like it when you mention him. him. <laughs> I, 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 keep, I keep hearing the Shermanator every time <laughs> you say it. You've got American Pie in your head, haven't Sorry, you? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> the Shermanator. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so that's, that's the go, ladies and gentlemen, in, in uh, Naked Zombie Army. Um, the Geek Speaks boys are having what's called Geek Speaks Berkey. They're going to come on board. They're going to have their own. Can we do own... it again? Can we do it again? Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Yep. Geek speak spooky. <laughs> you know what? That won't be actually how it's recorded. Because why not? No. I think that's awesome. You reckon? <laughs> uh, if you want it, I'll record it. Mate, <laughs> that's going to be the theme song as it comes on. <laughs> you, mate, you, 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 you guys can do whatever you want. You can have live beans going. <laughs> If you like, I don't really care. Uh, but no, look, I'm really excited. The fact I've got really good mates of mine who, look, we've actually done a lot together. Um, we've met each other at different events. We, we, we're doing certain projects together. We sort of, we, we get involved in each other's lives in a very, very sad and twisted way. Yeah, um, so stalking your home. Yeah, uh, someone's stalking uh, my home, stalking my Facebook site. Like stealing your knickers off the line. I wish people would stalk me. <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. Hey, no, hey, I better hey. not say that. No, no. don't. <laughs> That, 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 that one girl might get really upset it's, that she's been stalking me. It's, and I, uh, it's funny attention. that you should mention um, trolling there, Brad. Uh, yeah. We've been trolled in the last couple of weeks. Must be the season of the trolls, is it? It really must. It's so, you've been trolled as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, okay, so let's, let's talk about being trolled. I mean, we had nothing planned tonight for tonight's show because it never happens that way when I've got the Geek Speak boys oh, on. Do it on. Do it on the night. That's how we yeah, roll. We, we, let's say we do it on night. We just make up any old shit that comes along and hopefully yeah, we it pull records. it out of our ass. <laughs> Uh, no, we yeah. have. The last few weeks, we, we got trolled, mate. You're kidding. Uh, who who no, trolled you? Tell me who it was. Hey? Tell me who it was. I'll I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to name them. Uh, right. But anyway, we've been trolled by this guy, and we've had to put a ban on him on the uh, the Geekspeak pages because, you know, we got we get fantastic feedback, and I'm sure you're the same. You get listeners oh, who give you good creative feedback, and if they tell you something's wrong, if they do it in a nice way, you go, yep, no worries, we'll change it or whatever else. Mm-hmm. This guy was just an oxygen thief, Brad. He was just out <laughs> to stir trouble. So we had to ban him. And, and and what was funny was the fact that he was slagging shit to us and then uh, a f- one of the uh, Facebook uh, fans on Facebook got on and uh, commented on, on a show that he was on yep. saying that uh, he wasn't very good. And then all of a sudden you see a comment underneath from him saying, oh, there's the trolls out. And you think, well, <laughs> didn't you just do, do the same thing to us? 
trolls don't recognise their own trolling behaviour, Ginge. Oh, oh sorry. I'm still eating my apple pie here. I'm just listening to you two. Keep, keep going. Oh, yeah. right. oh, do you want to keep entertaining? I'll do a song and dance number yeah, just, for you just, in just a Just keep second. going. I'm just, I'm just sitting back and listening. Um, we could turn it into a song about trolling. This is... Uh, what was that? Who, who used to do that? You know, rolling, rolling, rolling. Who used to do that? We'll just change it to troll and troll and troll. And... <laughs> yeah, hi. Right, you do it. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Limp Biscuit, was it? Limp Biscuit. <laughs> I don't know. You're telling the story. Why band Limp Biscuit? That just sounds disgusting. Shouldn't it be, shouldn't it be like, like Massive Shaft? Something like they should have called something we, like yeah, that. We should Not start Limp a band. Biscuit? That's like, massive you know, a, a sagging... Yeah. Twink. Maybe they maybe they got sponsored for a tour by Viagra. Well, <laughs> I don't know where this comes from. We're just sitting here thinking tonight. And we you, shouldn't think. This proves we shouldn't think. No, no. I think none of us should be allowed to think. I think it's a <laughs> uh, it should be a law that the the boys from Naked Zone and the boys from Geek Speak should not be allowed to participate in any comp- competitive thought. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yes, yes. Trolling. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, mm. We actually did a podcast on it the other week. Yeah, we we did a bit of a rant on it, and we had some fantastic feedback. And people were like, "Are they that sad in their own day to day existence that that's all they got to do? They just log onto the computer and sit there and just stir shit, throw shit? Is that yeah, all they I mean, can I do?" Mean, look, that's it, it. It doesn't matter what you do in life. There's someone out there who's going to be out to get you. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just a bit. Look, you know the funny thing is, and this is just where I find amusing. I got an email about, um, let's see, about mm, probably about two weeks ago. Now, mm-hmm. you know how that I'm not funny, right? Not funny. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you are. No, no, I'm not. Seriously, I'm not. I'm just sad. And and, <laughs> and, and, and the Brad decided. <coughs> see, I said the Brad again. Ah, you two you two got it. Yeah, got it. Ding, ding. Um, and I actually got an email from this uh, mob in Melbourne who, who wanted me to try a bit of stand-up comedy. Really? I really, I kid you not, and my... Response, I saw that post. And my response to that was, no. Doing, well, a radio, doing a radio show and trying to do up stand-up comedy would be two totally different things. And I've seen a lot of yeah. stand-up comics, and seriously, they should be laid down in a coffin comics, because <laughs> it's, it, they're not funny. And so you've seen Mr. Whitley's show before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who's going to get the hate mail now, and I've got nothing to do no, with this. No, no, just this. redirect it to me, mate. Throw it in a P.O. box. and yeah. Yeah. Geeks, I will both be go you at gmail.com. Do you know hey. what? Because, Brad, I'm always looking for toilet paper, and um, if they send that kind of hate mail, I'll gladly use it. Yeah, that's fine. Look, I'll just pass it on. So if any hate mail comes through me, I'll say, look, I'll just, I'll just pass it on to uh, Toddles and, and, and El Spanky, as I call you. Uh, you can go and take Your wife's going to get jealous if you can get that up in you know? Spanky. Spanky, yeah. Spanky. 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 <laughs> anyway, so that's enough for troll. <laughs> I think we've covered that one to death. So, guys, have. what what have you got in store for Geek Speak Spooky? What, what are some, uh, of, what's some of the genres? Because I'm letting you guys run with this as you see fit. I'm not having any, any control over this whatsoever because, seriously, the Brad just doesn't roll that way. <clears throat> Got it in Ginger and I are going to get uh, we're going to get our PJs out. We're going to yes. get, pop the popcorn. Yep. We're going to uh, we're going to cuddle up on the couch, not together, not together. Oh. In Wade, two separate Wade, houses. Wade's got his missus, and I'm going to go get a call girl for the night. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. We're going to yep. sit there. And we're going to we're going to watch some classic horror films that yep. we grew up with. Yep. I'm available. Rewatch them. Uh, <laughs> what is a call girl? <laughs> Maybe. Man, I know you've got to pay the bills, but Jesus, Brad, I like blondes. Speaking speaking about paying them, who said I'm not a blonde? Ah. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the drapes or the curtains? <laughs> <laughs> that's for that's for another show, and I'm going to have to put an X rating on this one, aren't I? Yeah, be yeah, right. going to have to. Um, but yeah, so so you guys are going to look at videos and and graphic novels and old porn, maybe <laughs> and just TV shows. Did you see that uh, there's a new program out called Stranded that's just been released in America? I haven't seen it yet, but oh. you have. And uh, the whole premise of it is say. Like, for example, Ghost Adventures, you know, the guys going around with night vision cameras. Yep. What they do is they, they get three people, chuck them, well, this episode, they chuck them on a boat with cameras mm-hmm. and drop them off at an island that has a hotel on it. And during the winter, the hotel is abandoned. And so they were the only three people on this island. And Sounds they like go, a Stephen King movie. Yeah, and they, they have to stay a week on this island within this, this giant real? big old hotel. This is real. And, uh, yeah, they uh, investigate on, in the hotel. I could do that. I could do that. 
I, I just need to find a, uh, a, an, a old giant, hotel. an old motel on a uh, on yeah. an island. Hey, mind you, we, we've got enough production camera gear between the t- between the, the two lots of our groups. We could set up like some cool thing. <laughs> you ever thought about doing porn? Um, <laughs> Talking porn. porn. <laughs> <laughs> and it's spooky. Someone has done yes. a a porno version of Paranormal Activity. Get oh, bent, really? No, no bullshit. How do you tell it is called porno? the movie title is called Paranormal Whacktivity. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> man! And it is sh- it is shot just like Paranormal Activity, where it's like a night vision looking at the bed. Do you yeah. know who sold them that name? I made five hundred dollars on that name. <laughs> Paranormal activity. As, as, as soon as Paranormal Activity come out, you registered that domain name. Oh, I did. That's paranormal the most, crea- activity. It's the most com. creativity so, I've ever spent. So, so the one that I registered was Edward Penis Hands. Is that, <laughs> does that count? No, I'm sorry, buddy. That I don't think, that, I think that's already being done, actually. I don't know. How, think, do we, how do we go from talking about what you guys are doing to porno movies? Well, I'll tell hey, you what. What, what is yeah. coming up very soon we're going on to? They're doing a retro uh, 80s rewind night at uh, Event Cinemas. Yeah, now, we went to one on the week. We, we got to see uh, Back, Back to the, the Future, Future on the big screen. Number one. Yep. Guess what they're bringing out? Two movies we want to talk about. Yes. Uh, first off is Gremlins. We'll be going oh, along. Oh, sweet. How awesome will that be to see on the big oh, screen? On the big screen. And then after that, the one we definitely have to bring up on Geeks Speak Spooky, the original Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Oh, definitely. Look, I actually got out the Gremlins and Gremlin 2s for my boys because wow. they, they hadn't seen it. They didn't know what a Gremlin was from the armpit. So it's, it's sort of like, no, I wanted to show them good old 80s genre, bad, funny horror movie. It's like Critters, you know what I mean? It, it's, yeah. it's got that same sort of uh, Critters. And the Children like, of the Corn? Children, oh, mate, the original oh, Children of the They were weird as shit. They were the shit out of me as a kid. I grew up with them. I had two older brothers and they used to make me watch them. Yeah, and also the original uh, Night of the Living Dead. The yeah, original, yeah. like the black and white version. Back, back, back when? Yeah, Go right back, 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 back um, then. Yeah, Emmanuel I mean, Horror. Oh, Emmanuel Horror. original one, Brad? Yes, yes. I actually interviewed Christopher Quarantino or Christopher Lutz on the radio show who was one of the surviving children from the actual Animtyville Horror. Oh, itself. no way. Yeah, yeah, no, seriously, on the radio show. I had him on. People can go back and have a look for it. It's, it's listed up there. So, and he cool. was telling me about the cool stories and everything that happened that to a, him. Movie. I mean, that's creepy. Actually, it's, it's, it was based on a real event, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the the, yeah. the the movie and the book sort of did a bodgy on it, and it wasn't. Uh, God, yeah, you know, it's funny. He, he says a lot of it. He reckons the real events were scarier than what was portrayed in the movie. Shit, yeah. Shit really? Yeah, and that's just what I mean. And this that, is, that movie put the wind up me as a kid. Oh well, definitely when the doors flew off and the priest sitting down covered in flies and and all yeah. this other stuff, and yeah, you know, he's running around through the house with a freaking axe going. Oh, shotgun. Yeah, I mean, this thing, they, they Who hasn't done that on a Friday night with no pants on? <laughs> Speaking about no anyway. pants on and running around the axe, I have actually seen some... Look, hey, do you know our mate, Mr. Wolf? Yes. Yeah, okay, Mr. Wolf is actually... We're actually having an animated intro. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Mr. Okay. Wolf has been in contact with me. He's a legend. And he has shown me some of the concept drawings for all of us. Wow. Do I look sexy? Mate, absolutely not. <laughs> Do I look like a fat I'll bastard? I'll kill you, Matthew. I will kill you. <laughs> but so that's it. No, it looks really good. You know what Matthew's like. He, his his style of drawing is just incredible for starters. Yeah, and it's he is talented. Great. He is so talented. And so what he's doing up for us and, and on Chantel as well, they're, they're doing it a team effort because Chantel is actually going to be part of the panel. Mm. So Chantel's going to be part of it. Matthew's our, our head um, head um, cameraman, yeah, and but Russ will be directing it. You guys cool. are doing your thing, but everyone is having their image. Even Andrew, our IT guy, who does all the oh, computer cool. stuff, he's he's been animated as well for the intro for the new TV series. So it's going to be off the wall and different to start off with, just by looking awesome. at the first intro. And I think that's going to make it look very enjoyable for people. Because we've, yeah. we've we've actually sat down, we've discussed all this, and we're taking the time to put it through. You know what I mean? You know, and, what it's, I mean? and it's not just time. thrown together at the last minute. You know, just on, based on deadlines. No, well, that's right, and and this is why I sort of went away from the the TV side of it, uh, because a deadlines don't work for me. Because seriously, with the amount of work I have with the radio show and normal job, um, I just don't have the time. 
and that's, that's why right. when I can do this and we can all get together as and I don't want anyone left out. That's the thing. If I do it, I do it with all of you. If I, no one's in it, I don't do it. As simple mm. as that. I just don't believe in. No, nah, it's it's a big team effort to get Naked Zombie TV off the mark. So, and I, yeah, having you guys involved in your section, a segment of it, is absolutely going to be fantastic for the audience because we'll break it up in a bit that they're going to see something a bit different. I mean, we'll be talking about all the creepy ass legends and then you know all the urban stuff and the monsters and all the hideous stuff out there and you know the cults and all this really cool stuff that people are fascinated by. And we'll, be and we'll be talking about the poop monster from Kevin Smith. And the Ooh, poop monster. Can we talk about the poop monster? <laughs> Go for it. Talk about, you can talk about the poop monster now if you want. Oh, we should do a whole like a whole 10 minute segment just on the poop monster from, um, from Dogma. Do it. Because that scares Go. the literal shit out of me when I see that. It does, surprisingly, that doesn't it? it it's, Is that ba- I wonder if that was based on like a real folklore type thing about the, you know? Because Kevin Smith took a lot of that from Catholic um, mythology. Well, he took it from yeah. the Bible. And, yeah. and, you know, shit and that's supposed to be real, right? How come they right? not taught us that in Catholic school, Jim? Right. <laughs> Poop monsters. Yeah, shit. Like, I would have perked up if they had gone, look, we're going to talk about the Golgotha, which is a gigantic poop monster. I probably would have got straight A's in that fucking <laughs> subject then. Or would have gone, tell me more about this shit monster. It would have made religion a whole lot more. And you know what, Brad, if you had seen our religious teacher, she was a little old Irish lady that was oh. about 80 years young. Sounds she had hard. a great voice, though. She had a wonderful voice. If she had a guy and go, boys, I'm going to tell you about the poop monster, <laughs> she would have had me just sit up listening. Boom, I it's tell you. It's the third... To on the turd, turd, of the turd on her. her name, her name was Mrs. Mary Spearing. She was a former nun turned just t- lay teacher. Yeah. And I swear to you, mate, she could control a classroom of, of teenage boys. She used to get up in front. She'd clap her hands and, and go, strip. boys, boys. <laughs> That's all she did. And yeah. we, we just we'd look at her and go, oh, poor old dear. We'll shut out uh, her mouth now. <laughs> now she had a, got up there and said to me, boys, we're going to talk about the Golgotha. He's a gigantic poo monster. <laughs> I would have just. You what would have turned it? around and went, shut the fuck I up! What? <laughs> what? Poop monster? Like shit thing. <laughs> I got, um, speaking of, I went to a Catholic high school as well, uh, for toll, for toll, and sadness, and we had this... Did uh, you get pain? Oh, mate, you have no idea. Oh, we had that this... ended by the time we went through. Oh, mate. Oh, look, I, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you, you young ladies. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, uh, yeah. we didn't get the crock at a... Because, uh, you know, being at a Christian brother college, yep. they banned the cane, but I'm pretty sure some blokes got the cock instead. <laughs> <laughs> and who said all Catholic priests are pedophiles? Yeah. Hey. What, um, was the go- what was the going rate back in your days? Was it yeah, a Snickers and a, and a can of Coke? A can of Coke for us, it was. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, seriously, guys, we had we had two two that really stood out. Okay, this is a funny thing. We had this one Catholic nun called Sister Maria, and no word of a lie, she had teeth like a llama. <laughs> she, she could spit between these huge gaps, and they, they were sticky, outy, pointy teeth. And and what's the funny thing was we also had this our principal was brother Roger. Now Sister Maria and Brother Roger go both got done for D D and speeding one day. Oh. <laughs> As you do. And but what was the scary thing was we had this uh we had our tech drawing teacher was called Brother Tim. Brother Tim was about ninety years young and looked like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a pencil you will use, you know, type of thing. So, so, but Brother Tim's favourite trick was to keep dropping stuff and bending down to look up the girl's skirts. Or the oh, boys dirty old bastard! No, I'm serious. This why is didn't what we ever think of that? that no, and, and, we went to an old boys' school. You yeah, well, that wouldn't have fucking worked. No, dude, seriously, I think he actually did it. Some of the boys as well. And, and anyway, so he, dropped, he used to drop this pencil, and you would watch him, and all of a sudden, you see all the girls go. <laughs> legs would be shut, you know, close together. Uh, but he'd he just pivot. He just poo. He was just doing yeah. his godly duty. He was keeping him virtuous. virtuous. Is that a word? He, he no, no, just make that shit up. Virtuous is a word you've just made up. Um, and also, we had. Uh, <laughs> he, he reminded me of Father Jack Hackett or Father Ted. Oh, he had oh, the wow. same sort of you know, small feck girls, knickers type thing. Yeah, that whole <laughs> thing going on. Um, so yeah, I went to a Catholic high school till year. Now I went from year. 8 to year 10, because it, back then I don't think it went to year 11 and 12 because they didn't have multi-millions of dollars like they do now. But believe it or not, Brother Tim is still there. Really? Yeah, he haunts the place, the yeah. girls' locker room. Um, so, have you investigated it? Oh, no, I'd love to actually, but I don't think they'll let me back into the school after the antics uh, and icicles there. 
We 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 had a teacher that was who actually taught a, a good mate of ours. His dad. Mm. Yeah, he taught his how, dad, and then we went through, and he taught his uh, taught his son who was in our grade. And apparently he's – is he still there, Neil? I think no, he's still there. No, I think he's dead, Ginge. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm pretty sure he'd be still there. No, he? I killed him. He's not um... going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, so... you know what it was like. Like, you know, you had that Catholic stuff uh, crammed down your throat day in, day out. Of course you did. Have you taken any interest in the whole Pope thing, Brad? Oh, I have, oh. actually. I've actually put my resume forward. I'm currently looking So did oh, mate, <laughs> I. I'm, um, I'm in the running as well. I, so. I thought, mate, look, Pope Do you want to be Brad, vice Pope to me? Look, look. Pope Brad sounds better than Pope Spanky. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because Pope but, Spanky, I don't know. They might go a bit. Mm. I'd be great in the, in the uh, African countries. Oh, you, you would be. When, I land, when I land in Africa as the new Pope, mate, they'll be like, it's Pope Spanky. <laughs> oh, Hello, Pope Spanky. <laughs> Pope Spanky. It's the Pope Spanky. He looked like Eddie Murphy, only white. <laughs> Something like uh, that. Yes. I mean, one's like, I can't believe you're doing that. <laughs> I, 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 mm, <laughs> what? Are we, are we going to say something about his his hood? He probably should. You probably shouldn't wear that the hood. No. When you're in south in <laughs> the south states of America. <laughs> no, no. I'll get drafted into another army. Um, uh, again. Um, seriously though, Brad, what yes. do you think about the whole rumor of him being this, this next pope being the the final pope, the aka Antichrist. the Antichrist? It, well, is actually, it just, no. Pro- that, prophecy is that this guy's this, next this, bloke. The, the, um, yeah, well, the, the story goes that this Pope here uh, turns the whole religious base up on its head. So, you think you're going to find is that they're going to take, look, even though, even though they don't say it is, but a lot of the rumblings from the, from the Catholics. So, because I'm into the whole pop culture side of things and, and religion is sort of, you know, when it comes to the weirdness. Mm, of it. Mm. But yeah, no, you're right. There has been a lot of um, people fluttering around the internet and stuff saying, you know, this could be the, that they have to choose the next Pope carefully. If they get it wrong, this could be the, the Antichrist. The and Antichrist. All the, all, all the Catholics out there, please don't send me hate mail or send me any more crucifixes or try to save my soul <laughs> because seriously, I'm a Catholic. But if I walked into church, you would fall down. Yep. I lapsed years ago, mate. I think it was the last confession I did when I was about 10. I don't remember I had to wear Speedos for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, you and know, just choke a chain. I, I still know, can't work you that know, one the, out. Uh, you, know how, you know how I knew when I wasn't allowed back in a church, Brad? What's that? Every time, every time I walk in, that fucking tub of holy water would start bubbling on me. <laughs> Yeah. It's a great party trick, but the priest gets the shits really quick. <laughs> Look, I could make it go red. <laughs> I, st- I still maintain that the Mayans were right. It's just that those those Gregorian monks back in the Middle Ages didn't carry the one, and they, you know, the time calendar didn't Gregorian work out. Gregorian monks for how long? Yeah, go about three monks, months since I mean, the Mayan calendar stuffed up. I mean, that's that's it. I mean, they they reckon they're out about. This is another silly thing about this whole thing, the Mayan calendar stuff. They reckon it's now out by 50 years. Yeah. So, what, in, in ah, so, so they can reckon now. another 50 years, the, the, the so-called um, New no, World Order. They just keep order. changing the rules, don't they? Well, it's like, that, it's like that priest over in the States, and I can't remember his name because he just annoyed me, uh, was a guy that I think every six months foretold, foretold the end of the world and, and the uh, Armageddon or the resurrection or something like that where... And so what happened was he get all these followers that, 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 to, to sell everything and, and do all this. And next minute, yeah, it, tonight's the night, everyone, the big event. And the next day would pass and they would go, hmm. They, well, that was a bit of a letdown. It's like people who whinge about the zombie apocalypse hasn't started yet. It's like, that's probably a good thing. We joke at least about it, it, but it's a good thing. At least the priest didn't make them drink that red Kool-Aid that they, uh, they did back with the Heaven's Gate mob. Oh, oh, yeah, the one that put them all in a nice, nice slumber land. Yeah, and yeah, they that, thought that the, uh, massive, the that. flying saucer was behind the hail Bob comet. Oh, look, mate, you can, you can go spin on about, and this is all the stuff that we're going to be touching on the TV show as well, is all this weird-ass stuff. I mean, there isn't enough weird-ass stuff out there now without bringing it to TV, is there? Seriously, <laughs> come on. I mean, who else is better to do it than us lot? Huh? That's right. Huh? That's right. That's dead right. right. So, what, okay, just on that subject there, UFOs. Yes. Okay. You, Do you believe in them? Me personally. Yeah. Um, I've got one hovering outside my window now, and it's. And <laughs> hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, the the. I'll do the radio voice. Yes, the uh, cargo doors appear to be opening in a. And and look, and yes, he has something long and 
round in his hand. Oh, yes, yes, my pants are now off and I've been probed to death. <laughs> You've been what? <laughs> I've been probed. <laughs> and not in a nice way. Hmm. I don't know if I... I... <sighs> I, I, I'm open to the suggestion. You're oh, open yeah? to what I've, ne- I've, ne- I've never seen a flying saucer, <laughs> but I'd like to be pr- like to be. You like to be probed? Is that what you? I'd like to be say, proved. Yeah. Pro- no, oh, not you probed. You got to get the word out quicker. No, no, proved, proved. G- Gidge, I'd like to. Gidge, you want to be probed? Stop, stop no. the probe, man. Seriously, mm-hmm. I, I know, mate. I've been on a boat with you, <laughs> haven't I? <laughs> haven't I been on a boat? And didn't you yeah. say, Brad, if we sink, damn, I would love a good probing. <laughs> you, you said that. You said that. that. You said, Gidge. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a fat bastard. I'm pretty sure I would have floated. You reckon? Fat floats. I would have, no. uh, if it was me, I would have been riding on top of you. Mate, You're like a raft. Paddling away, like, <laughs> lay you on your back so that you can still breathe, face up. And, what? Paddle what? On top what? and, and, and use me old father as a mast. <laughs> um, I'm not going anywhere near that fucking thing without <laughs> a pair of gloves. <laughs> Tie a sheet to it and <laughs> blow us along. Hey, Ginge, I think you're overselling yourself a little bit. <laughs> do, do, do you think? Maybe you're hanky, slowly? mate. Maybe you're hanky. That's that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no, seriously. We we me me, me and Ginge were on a boat, a a mother effing boat, and mm. we we're on a boat. And um, Todd, you weren't on the boat. No, no, no. You guys forgot me that night. Yeah, we did. We did because you know we said, "Do we tell Todd?" And Gin goes, "But Brad, why?" <laughs> Just like that. It's a, you know, he had that wink in his eye thing happening. You know what, going, mate? What? Honestly, you had no idea the trouble uh, we got into for that. There was a certain other person on the crew at that time that, that kicked up such big stink that really she wasn't invited. I, I didn't get told that. No, didn't you're you? telling me this for the very first no, time. Yeah, you're kidding yeah. me. She was going to go down and, and and torpedo the boat on you. She was such a vicious. Uh, she had a nose out of joint so much. Yeah. But anyway, oh, that's yeah. not nice. Sorry, yeah. not really. Actually, let's uh, let's just give her a one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. but I mean that's fine. I mean, look. I, I was speaking to Wade back then, and, and we had a good old chat, and I said, Wade, do you want to come along? We, we thought we'd do St. Helena. Now, mm. and not many were, people were allowed to go where we were allowed to go. You know, we, we actually had a full tour around the island, and I was wearing a leg brace at the time, which sort of didn't help. Yeah, it not must wrong. have been fucking awkward, Brad. Oh, mate, I tell you, especially when... Uh, when it was not his was, was, not his legs. No, no, no. yeah, yeah, no, especially <laughs> when helping, It was really helping... It was because Ginger was trying to remove it with his teeth for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to chill. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go get another whiskey while you two paddle on. <laughs> but to see, this, this, this is why these shows never go to. <laughs> actually, I'm spinning off. The, the last Geek Speak um, combined show we did actually did very well as far as um, pretend ratings. <laughs> pretend pretend rating. rating? Over 20,000 people. Listen to the really? podcast in wow. the last month. Shit, I like. Do you know what? What? That's nineteen thousand more than uh, that. Watch uh, than, than uh, that's. Hang on, let me start that again. <laughs> that's nineteen thousand more people than what watch um, certain community TV shows in Brisbane. <laughs> you, you are not going to let that go, are you? I edit nothing out. You know that. If it's Good, stuff stick to your guns, goes, Brad. Stick oh, to your oh, guns. Look, I do stick to my guns. And, and that's the thing. And like I said, if you are that person, speak to Todd. <laughs> not and that's what I love about the web, too. He's not speaking to me anymore, Brad. Uh, well, it will be after tonight's show by the sounds of it. <laughs> what I love about the web is the fact that you can't fake uh, ratings. On no, the internet, that's no, right. No, like for example, if you go to our YouTube page, you can see every single person, every single comment. Yep. It's the same with yours, Brad. You can yep. see exactly who who listens. And... Yep. Yep. And when you get on TV, you can actually fake it and tell people that you get forty thousand people a night. Wow. Even though it, is that it, the first time we've ever been accused of faking anything, Ginge? Me? Yeah. I don't know. Because there was that girlfriend that time. She was unsure. She thought she kept carrying around a thing of yogurt in your back pocket. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> It wasn't yogurt; it was mayonnaise. <laughs> hey, Brad, did you know that yes. that, um, Sorry, Keep going. that the pro- the pro- you know the project on Channel Ten, right? Yes, 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 yes. You know that Queensland wide, it gets thirty thousand uh, viewers Is a night. It, yeah, it only gets it. thirty thousand yeah. a night, Queensland wide. That's from 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 Cape York down to right the down border. to yeah, yep. and west. They they only get thirty seven thousand a night. Thousand. Hmm. Geez, I wonder how a certain community TV station in Brisbane claims to get 40,000 viewers for one show. Yeah. <laughs> you smell that, Brad? Todd? Yes? Stop it. No, I anyway, don't I don't care. Uh, I, really, I really don't care, to be honest with you. I like, I, look, the thing where I look at it, when I interview a guest, they can say what the hell they want. At the end of the day, I'm only the uh, 
the supply of the medium. You're the you're the vessel in which I'm um, vessel which this information is carried. That's sounding awfully Catholic, right there. Yeah, stop it. Maybe, maybe I have seen St. Peter's. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what the uh, f- is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, anyway, so we've got lots of lots happening. So we we you boys, it's, it's big times ahead. Busy times ahead. You're going to have your bum hanging out, Brad. Doing the out. show and and this um, naked zombie TV, but. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to it because you do quality work, and I know you're going to do a quality show. You sure? I mean, yeah, I'm uh, bloody uh, sure, mate. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I, I do. You're a good I team do. put together. I mean, uh, Matt, Chantel, oh, yeah. yeah, Russ, Andrew, these two idiots. I mean, yeah, me yeah, and this yeah, other idiot, yeah. Liam, Wadzie. Liam. You got, oh, mate, you're you're spoilt for choice. Oh, I mean, and it's going to be fun, and and this is the reason why I guess now the reason why I decided just to have it off the website because it's 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 personal to the people who love. The zombie, mm, if mm. you know what I mean. I'm not doing it to, to to. I'm not doing it for other people. I'm doing it for the viewers who who get on there every day and listen to the radio show, and, and it gives them something a little bit extra to to enjoy. Yeah, that's that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Well, mate, that's why we agreed to do it with you for our the Geek Speak Spooky segments because. You know, at the end of the day, we do what we do for passion. We do it for lo- you know, for the love of the stuff and to yep. entertain people. And, you know, Jins and I talked about it. We're like, can we afford the time to take on doing this uh, this extra little project? We went, yep, we'll make the time. We'll do it. We'll, we'll give it our best. So, and, you know, because we can get a kick out of it. And I'm sure now, 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 what are you guys going to be wearing when you do this? Uh, preferably pants. Yeah, no, that's not part of the deal, dude. Sorry, we, well, we, we, we do the show pantsless. I mean, that's just what it sans pants. In. Well, if if it is pantsless, we're only going to be shot from the from the waist up anyway. Yeah. So you it doesn't prom- really matter. You promised me the waist down. No, 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 no. <laughs> do you want us to do you want us to put googly eyes above our wings? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll wear a, a mini beret on my wing. Will you? Just to make it look like a mini director. I was going to I was going to curl my hair down there into like an old fashioned western moustache. <laughs> what do you mean it's not like that now? <laughs> Hey, I've heard hey, the stories. Next time I go to pee at a pub, you're not coming in beside me, right? I, I, I heard on, on the net that it's it's fashioned into a, a Charlie Chaplin. But then I also you know I also heard that it's no, no, not Charlie Chaplin. It's an Adolf Hitler. You've heard all the jokes about Liam ne- how the size of Liam Neeson's dick. No, well, now no, there's, a heap of, there's, there's a heap of internet memes around about you know what my pubic hair is styled to. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Apparently, some days I have you should, dreadlocks. You should get a lightning bolt. I, I nickname him Bob Marley. <laughs> Although I call him Bob Dangley. <laughs> and for all the naked zombie listeners, I apologise in advance. Uh, no, I don't. I don't po- You know, it's, hey. Why speak- would you be apologising? No one's seen no, it yet. No, no, no. Speak, speaking of, um, speaking of apologies, doctor? speaking of apologies, yes. uh, you want to hear what happened to me today at work? What happened? What? Uh, anyway, <laughs> the Brad, as, as everyone knows me as now, bing, because bing. I've made it official, uh, is that I was called in to a special meeting about my, ready for this, mm. my my empathy towards people. Or lack what? Of. what? Seriously? Seriously. Your lack of empathy towards what other co-employees. Yeah, something like that. Huh? So, so they come in and said, you need to give a shit? Basically. What? No, no, I'm serious. Look, see, the thing is, this is the funny thing. Like, I, I'm not stupid. If you know what I mean, I have a good education background. I'm I'm, I'm one of these mass freaks for starters, so I, I'm pretty cluey on a lot of stuff, and I've worked in heavy industry for many many years. So doing what I do is a cakewalk. Now, when I get annoyed with people, which is ninety percent of the time, when I get annoyed <coughs> with people, I I get this really expressive look on my face, like you're a twat. And uh, this, this That's quite expressive. Yeah, yeah. It might trust me. You know how I wave my arms about when I'm doing interviews on TV. Yeah. Imagine that, but facially. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Ooh. Anyway, so I get dragged into this meeting today, and I'm going, "Oh, Christ!" I went for now, and 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 we had the the big boss was there, and I'm going sitting down. And I'm going, hmm, okay. And then then he started talking. I'm going, hmm. And then I was, uh, then he sort of said something about you know team player and all the rest of it and I went hmm and then I noticed had this funny funny lip thing happening and I was just memorised by this his top of his lip would like quiver and I was, fasc- <laughs> I was fascinated by it every time he'd stop talking he'd get this little <laughs> this little <laughs> quiver thing happening and I, I, I sat there for the whole thing going how the hell does he do that 
I just want to piss myself laughing at that. Yeah, the trouble is, mate, when, when I get myself in those environments, I, I get this look about, you're going to do what now? You're going to tell me what to do what now? But anyway, so I am currently in the process of furthering my career options. Mm. Is, that a, is that a glorified term for you got your walking papers? No, no, I didn't get my walking papers. After if they have anyone from work listens to the show, I probably will. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, um, you, know, you, know, you might want to edit a couple of the things out of the night show then. Mate, I don't edit anything out. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Oh, look, I, I did an interview with um, Ghost of Oz last night. You know, I get yep. on really well with the guys there. You know, yep. they're, they're flying me to Sydney. You know, I've been in the studio. I have a ball with them. And the funny thing with me is, I guess, I don't apologise. If I've got something to say, I say it for a reason. And stick to it. And stick to it. I do not... Like, if I've said something I've regretted and I'm wrong, I put, hey, I'm sorry about that. I was wrong. Right? Yep. First one to put my hand up. But on principle, I guess that's why I don't... That's where the empathy thing is, I lack yep. of. Uh, because if I come up to you and say, I think you're stupid, it's because you're stupid. It's not because I have any... Why beat around the bush is my motto. Man, life, life's yep. too short to be nice to, to people that you don't like. Yeah, well, I mean, and I, to sugarcoat it for people, you know I what mean, I mean? Like honestly. Yeah, seriously. And this is the thing. I, I mean, I I interview some fantastic guests on the show, and I've I've had fantastic guests on. I've met some wonderful people, and I have all the time in the world for them, yeah. n- without a doubt. I'll bend over backwards to have them on again. Yada yada yada. But the biggest thing that I struggle with is um, cross dressing. Um, no, I don't. I find that very easy. Uh, I've seen you in, in a pair of stocking and garters before. I know you don't struggle at that, that, all. That was all he was wearing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Shh, shh. That's our secret, man. <laughs> don't make me talk about the bottomless friggin' Do you Spider-Man want me, costume. You want me to hear a quick Hollywood story about, yeah, yeah. about why I respect a certain actor for what he does, okay? Yeah, go for Chris it. Chris Evans played uh, Captain America in, in, in Avengers and, and obviously Captain America movie, right? Mm-hmm. He was doing a press junket, I think, for Captain America at the time mm-hmm. and uh, done a bunch of film festivals. He was on like his... Second week of doing this press junket, right? And he was yep. doing 40 interviews or more a day for, for two weeks in a row. Gets into this interview and this journalist goes, oh, God, what a long day. You're my third interview for the day. This is just draining me. <clears throat> Chris Evans sits there and goes, really? Third for the day. Mate, I'm on my 40th, you know, for two weeks. And, uh, you know, this journalist, oh, geez, well, you live the wonderful life, don't you? You know, it must be wonderful. And Chris Evans just went, mate, no. You know what? I'm sick of idiots like you coming in and asking me the same fucking questions over and over again. <laughs> you can't think of anything fucking original to say. Yeah. You sit here whinging that you're doing it, you know, this is your third for the day. I'm on my fucking 40th. Fuck you. Right? And this journalist got his panties in a knot. Yeah. And Chris Evans went, no. He said, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of it. Um, I'll give you the answers to the questions you ask me, but I don't have to like you. And after hearing that, I turned around and went, you know what? Fucking good on Chris Evans. He called it as he saw it. You know, like, and, I, and I get where he's coming from. If you're doing that, you're on your 40th and you get mm. some douchebag coming in. Oh, it's been such a long day. Done I mean, my third, third interview. Third interviews. People don't say what they think or they hide behind... Um, yeah. I say false civility. False civility. I was thinking of just that word right then, man, because I've yep. heard you mention I mean, there's it no po- There is no point. Uh, you know what? Yep. If an idiot's an idiot or, or a person's a, you know, if, if there's an asshole and he's yep. an asshole or whatever else, you're best off calling him an asshole to his face and going, yep. mate, you're being an asshole, pull your fucking head in. Yep. Uh, because sugarcoating it gets you nowhere and it only continues the problem. And I tell you what, honestly, I had to learn it the hard way in life. I used to be really nice to people. I'd bend over backwards, even if they were being an idiot, because it was, you know, I guess the old Catholic guilt. And then yeah. you get burnt. And then you get burnt. And so you, you learn at the end of the day, if someone comes out and is a right royal asshole to you face to face, you just turn around and go, mate, I think you're a fucking asshole. I don't like doing what you, you know, dealing with you, doing what you're doing or whatever. And you put them in their place because life is too short. It is too to short. To deal with idiots. You know, yeah, you can I'm go out, get, you can fucking get hit by a bus tomorrow and die. Um, you know, and you've wasted too much time dealing with idiots. But then who will carry on the naked zombie when I'm gone? <laughs> and I think that's why we, we've, we've, we've from day you. one, <laughs> asked <climbing>. people... <laughs> Sweet. I, I think from day one, we've, we've asked people to, to, to give comments and give us feedback for everything that we've done, mm-hmm. you know, and... Um, you know, like for example, the the other week, uh, a listener of ours, Fez, said that uh, when he listens to our podcast, it uh, the music at the beginning of the show is really loud for him when he's listening to it on an i uh, an iPad, mm-hmm. and um, so we thought, all right, well, we'll 
we'll change the, the beginning of the show so that it comes in a little bit softer and, and then gets louder throughout the, the progression of the intro of the show. Yep. And yeah, so um, we took it to we, heart. You know, take we, we went, taken okay. an issue that someone has and, and dealt with it, you know? Oh, not, look, not, I'm, not, I'm all up for that. I'm all up for um, criticism which will lead to a positive outcome for everybody. That's right. That's uh, right. I'm all for that. What I don't like is people who think they're smarter than me mm. when I know they're not, and they know they're not. And then I, I hate when people talk down, down to you. Yeah, I hate being talked down to. You I'm, know, I'm, it's I'm kind of like talk to me on, on an equal level. Equal level. Do not talk down to me, uh, you know. I mean, I, mate, I'm, I'm a bit like Joe Pesci when he hasn't had a fucking Snickers bar. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you ask Wade. Like, I, I, I fire up. I'm a very docile kind of guy. I'm a very accommodating kind of guy. But uh, as soon oh, as you, yes, you, you push me a bit too far, yeah, <laughs> don't you know it. Uh, I'm the kind of guy I will. I'll, I'll bite back at you because life is too short, Brad. And I appreciate good feedback. I appreciate if someone comes to me and says, I've got a problem with you because of this, this, and this, yep. I try and work through it with them. Yep. Um, first instinct's usually to smack them, but, yes. you know, you try not to. Uh, but if you can't... You if you try and oh, okay. deal with a situation uh, in an honourable, uh, upfront manner and it doesn't work, well, that's when you just go, mate, you're a fucking piss off or whatever else, you know? Well, see, this that's is the thing. People, people um, don't realise the amount of work that goes into doing these sort of things. I that's mean, right. And that they got, look, I... They may feel like us. You're holding a full-time job. You've got a, a career. Yep. Um, I would have you know, what this... I do a career, but, you know, well, not to me. <laughs> well, it is, mate, it is. But, you know, this is the thing. Like, we do this for the passion, for the love, yep. Yep. you know? And, and I really find it funny when, when people get on and, and they try to troll me. And, but I'll turn it on its head. You know what I'm like? I, I, I'm the most, one of the hardest blokes to try and troll because whatever I'm dished with, I dish it back with gusto. And it's yeah. like I say to you, Brad, you're such a pussycat. <laughs> such a no, pussycat. No, such a nice pussy. I would cat. make fun out of myself. And, yeah. and show it doesn't phase me in the slightest. Because, look, seriously, guys, in, in, in all the years I've been involved in some form or way in media, whatever it is, it's it's easy for me to go, oh, look, this is too hard, I can't deal with this anymore because somebody I don't know who lives in another country that I'll never get to see thinks I'm a twat. Mm, uh, mm. And But people do that. I mean, I have people every now and then who decide to have a go and a dig at me and I think that's great because they're listening to the show and they really don't like what I'm doing. So I yep, keep, they keep listening. So. Yeah, they keep listening. This is the thing. You don't have to listen. Yeah, this this is what I mean. You don't have to tune and listen to the zombie. You don't have to like the the page. You don't have to tell your friends about it. I, I couldn't give a rat's ass at the end of the day, whether you like it or not. I like the fact that the people who do like it, they get an enjoyment out of it. You know what I mean? That's all Love I it. do it for. I don't. Brad do Scott for Prime uh, Minister. Damn straight or Pope. Uh, no, I've already taken that job, mate. No, seriously, dude. No, no, Pope Brad. Pope Spain. No, is no, not mate. A good thing. No, no. How about Pope Ginge? Maybe we should. I, they'll never, you know that there can't be a red-headed oh, pope. That's right. They, they have no souls. That's oh, right. Happen. Send all your hate mail <laughs> if you're a ginger to uh, ginger at uh, Geek Speak. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is the thing, guys. You look at all the, the aspects of what we do, and we do it for the fun. We do it for the passion. We don't do it for the ratings. We don't do it. Look, like I've always said, I don't care if one person tunes into the zombie and likes it because it's just different. It's off the wall. We talk about great yeah. subjects. We have fun. This is the thing. We, we, we spend most of our time laughing at ourselves for mm. our own stuff-ups. And that we have, you know, we watch the videos back for Geek Speak each week and, like, Wade sends a thread to me and, you know, yeah. poor bugger, he spends hours and hours and hours and hours sitting there slaving over a hot computer. God, it sounds like mother, doesn't it, you know? Yes. Slaving over a hot computer. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, and yep, yep, it sends yep. it to me first thing in the morning. I review it. And I look at it and just go, uh, and I usually I'm laughing or I'm really sucked into the thing, you know, because it's usually a little bit of time has passed before, since we filmed it to when it, it goes out. Yep. Um, and I always contact him and go, mate, you did a fantastic job. Yeah. I enjoyed it. And that's the main thing. As long as I enjoy it, he gets a kick out of it. Our, our crew get a kick out of it, including yeah. the host. They all love it. That's the thing. If, if anyone else comes on and says, hey, I really enjoy that video, that's just a bonus. Yeah, a bonus. Yeah, at the end of the day. It, 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 is, 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 it is a bonus. Like if I want to go out and produce a 15-minute little film or something like that, it's because I want to do it. It's yeah. not because anyone well, else told me to do it. Me and the big fella just talked before um, when we were doing our, our meat ch- – uh, was, was it Mega Burger Challenge? Mm-hmm. Um, we, we were talking, and uh, once we get season three of Geek Speak off to the stations in the next couple of weeks, uh, we'd like to take a week or two off and just potter around and do 
a few little shorts or, or yeah, just experiment, right. you know, take a bit of a break and just um, see what comes out of the, out of the uh, out of the wash, essentially. I mean, and that's why we do it. Yeah, uh, that's why we we do film. That's we might have to make a horror it. film. We might do a little do short it. horror. I thing. do do it. I'm doing sure, I'm doing the classic uh, black and white B grade, very bad special effects. That's you know, like another sad day for us. Like, 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 yeah, but no, that's sexual acts. Um, you, oh. got, you, got, you got like the oh. saucer on the, um, like the frisbee as a painted silver off the fishing sure. pole thing happening. I mean, to me, that that was the essence of of what movie making was. It was yep. the whole thing about let's see. Look, it may look like crap for its day, and it looks even worse now. But the essence of the story was there. It was yeah. the whole point of being these people got off their friggin' asses mm-hmm. and produced. It doesn't care how bad it was. See, this I I don't criticise people for giving something a go if they're willing to get off their ass and give it a go. Yeah, I don't care how bad it is or how they've done something. Yeah, yeah what exactly. I don't That's like is people. It's that old who, saying, isn't it? Put yeah. up or shut up. Yeah, you know what I mean. If, if, you know, yep. I mean, what's, what's that other great saying? Shit will get off the pot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that come from, but I love that and saying. I have no idea what it means, but it sounds awesome. The Brad <laughs> agrees. Uh, but, Actually, I think it's Scottish. It could be. Yeah. I think it come from Scotland. Shit will get off the pot. All, all I think of it is, is it's clerks. The in the room, hey? All I think of it is it clerks. clerks. Yeah, yeah, or clerks too. I get love off, clerks. Shit will get off the pot <laughs> on clerks right. too. It was too, yeah. It was too, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, look at clerks. Okay, speaking of clerks, right, we're going in tangents here, but that's what we do when we talk. But look at the original Clerks movie. Yep. It was Love based. It. Classic. it is a classic. It was based in a friggin' convenience store. The whole thing was basically shot in this convenience store. Mm-hmm. But look at the characters that came out of it. Look at the the storyline right. behind it. Look at the the sheer brilliance of what Clerks became. It wasn't popular in its day, but it has such a mass following as a cult movie today. That's right. You know That's right. I mean? Right. I mean, what was it? About ten years ago, they did Clerks. No, it wasn't that long ago. It was about six years ago they did Clerks too. And now, um, been. Uh, and now we were flying out to America for the first time. We saw it the week before we headed out, two thousand six. Yeah. And now, um, Jason Mewes is, is has just released the uh, cartoon version, the cartoon movie. Yeah, uh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Yeah, super groovy super cartoon groovy. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Bit, I saw the preview. Head along that. to the Geek Speak, uh, Geek Speak Facebook page, and it's oh, on there. <laughs> mate, I watched that, and I just I oh. was wetting myself with laughing because it is so much like. See that ginge? That's a plug right there for yeah. the old son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. I was wetting myself silly. <laughs> Little bit of pee pee came out, um, but I love that stuff because Brad, it's off. Yes, Brad. What? Adult incontinence is not a funny issue, mate. <laughs> But I'm it happens to all of us at some stage. Mm, mate, mate, but mm. I've, I've, I'm wearing my special pants. Good. <laughs> oh, hang on, I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, this is the great stuff about giving something a go. I mean, it's like when, um, what was that movie that George Lucas did when he first did it? It was friggin', what was it? And I should know this. I know THX? This, uh, THX, that's it. That he was meant to do, like, was it a, uh, a 10 minute or five minute short film? Yes, that's right. That thing, how long did it go? For half an hour, 45 minutes? Yeah. It went way over. For film school. For film school, it went way over in in the attributes. It went way over in the directing. It went, and it really took people by surprise. It actually made that into a movie later Mm. on down the track. But the point being is that if people don't get off their asses and try it for themselves, they will never know. They will never realise how cool it is to actually produce something yourself to and show do it to for the, the right world. reasons and do it for the reasons where you want to showcase what you do and this yep. is what frustrates me is that yeah i get trolled going back every now and then about oh yeah you know, your show's crap and all the rest and i think yeah whatever but what have you done i always That's ask right. i always ask them so are you have you you doing a radio show uh, you ask like little nick bit of questions i always ask this information because i want people to know that you know, it's easy to judge somebody else until you've actually been, until you judge yourself. You know what I mean? You, you've That's got right. to be able to, I mean, I'm my own worst critic. Trust me, no one can give me a harder time than I can, and I know. Challenge accepted, Brad. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I know what you're bloody, if it's anything like <laughs> bloody Ginger's boat trip with me, I mean, seriously, come on. But that's what's good about YouTube. You can get on there and you can say, okay, I accept that, that you don't like this episode. Yep. 
but I'm looking at your your YouTube page and you've not released any videos whatsoever. No. So, uh, you know, and or, or if someone's got five videos out and they've only got 16 hits per episode, you're like, well, you know, come on, dude. Yeah, that's shit, right. Shit will get off the pot. Yeah, yeah shit will get <laughs> off the pot. I'm exactly right. I mean, but you... Are you doing at, it for the right reasons? I, yep. Yeah. I, this is this is what I, I talked about the other night on the radio show with Ghost of Oz because, I mean, you know, I'm into the pop culture side of the paranormal and that. And I said a lot of shows, there'll only be a certain number because they've already got that cult status or cult following, so it's hard for the new ones to break into the field. Don't yes. look at going into it and you're going to get a TV show. Shoot yourself a couple of YouTube videos. Show the good stuff that you do and accept the criticism that follows. Mm -hmm. If you don't accept the criticism that follows, like, no, I'm just not telling you a fag or whatever. I mean, if you say, oh, listen, I really don't like, you know, that was okay, but, you know, if you did this, if you actually take notice of that, these is, this could be your future audience. That's right. And this is what people don't realise. So when someone says to me, Brad, listen, uh, the sound was shit on this episode, yada, yada, yada. I say, uh, tough. No, I don't. I say, okay, great. Let me look into it. I'll fix it up. So, because mm -hmm. I don't always know how things are going to turn out at the end of the day. I don't know if an episode is going to work, if an episode is going to suck ass. I take it as it comes. And that's why I never edit anything out. Because why, why lie about something that you're meant to be truthful on? If you know yeah. what I mean? That's why, look, if someone goes on a rant, and, and all the rest of it, Todd, uh, goes on a rant and does their thing. Is that that rant. pot you're going to shit on? Rant. Yeah, shit, oh. shit will get off the pot. If you have shit in it, ram his head in it. Oh. <laughs> Mind you, just don't bother. Just straight to Todd. Seriously, just yeah. give it straight to Todd. I don't care. Do you know what? I, what? Just a fascinating little thing. When I did okay. a tour of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Uh, can, can you say Edinburgh. it in a British accent? In Scottish, I can say it in Scottish. No, no I, want, I want British. Edinburgh. I want royal British accent. Fuck you and your British. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck Scotland, bruh. Scotland. Um, well, when I was over in I'm Edinburgh, Scot I, did a, yeah, I did a few tours, and they did like you know, the Haunted Edinburgh tours, really, really good. Yep. And they were saying about like uh, these streets, these underground streets, and all that kind of stuff, because you know these tenement buildings, they, they went like six, seven stories up. A lot of them were timber yep. up top, you know. And uh, they said you'd be walking home over night time and you had to keep an ear out because if someone yelled out Gardaloo, okay, yeah. you, got to the, you got as close to the wall as you could, got up against the wall face first and you thought thin thoughts because when someone yelled out Gardaloo, they were tipping the chamber pot out into the street. Ew. So you would get covered in shit and piss and whatever else, you vomit, mean, whatever. You, you'd get covered in poo-poo. You would, in right? Really? Covered, what does Gardaloo mean? Gar it was like a French, what, uh, watch the dirty watch water. Watch out below. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, watch out What did the they yell out? This is shit coming your way! <laughs> so that kind of language at the time. Um, so, yeah, if you ever heard Gardaloo, yeah. that's when you just quickly f face the nearest wall, suck yourself into it, and hope you didn't get shit on you. That so, is... That just thought I'd bring that up. It was a fascinating bit of history. <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. I, so, I, I'm sort of like crying... I wonder if you should, should uh, try that on a night out in the valley. Just they, walk around. They, they wouldn't know what it meant, though. That's the problem. Hey? They'd probably turn around and go out alone. They would have started no, pissing on them. No, no, no. no if you, if you, you yelled out Gardaloo in the middle of the valley, mate, everyone would think of some sort of new type of drug. Yeah, yeah come and get your Gardaloo <laughs> oh. here. Oh, man. Oh, oh, baby. oh man, this stuff tastes like that, shit. I, know. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just the way it is. So that's guys, fascinating to history, right there. See, this is the thing. I'm here to educate. Not only am I here to go on a rant about a certain community TV station, I'm here to educate you as well. And you've done that, and you're Thank awesome you. at it. You've been very quiet there, Ginge. What, what's happened, man? Is, is he taking the mic off you or something? I, I, I just uh, <laughs> you just listened to. <laughs> I was listening to our podcast back today when I published it, and yeah. I uh, there was what six of us, five of us on the podcast this week, five. and yeah. uh, I noticed that uh, people tended to talk over the top of one another they a little do. bit too much. So I'm just trying to keep the quality of this podcast. Up yeah, you give me a look there. Like, mate, like, I'm mate, sorry, I did forget you. There is no quality in Naked Zombie. <laughs> I'm sorry, people have a dis disillusion that I know what I'm doing, and I don't. Oh. Do you enjoy the wait for me to give him an in? Yeah, I like that. That was yeah. good. Yeah. Like that. Was, was that it? Yeah, I got a hand signal. I just I did this. I'm going to start talking right now, and now it's over to Todd. That's right. Um, we got this perfect system, and I'll do it again. Yeah, hey. it's back to me. Now guys, it's back to you, guys. Yes. Guys, shut up. Anyway, so what's happening on? I meant that as a joke. You didn't laugh when I said shut up. Laugh. 
Shut up. <laughs> yeah, good one. What's coming up on Geek Speak? This week. Uh, this week. You've got to, got, to, got to give it a plug while you're here. This week we've got the lovely Anna Marangeli, the the original, the one, the only uh, girly geek goddess. She's doing a video this week on Wizard of Oz because it hit cinemas this week. Oz yes. the Great and Powerful. Oh, Oz the Great and Powerful, oh, sorry. Nice, nice, um, yes. I don't know where you caught last week's. Anna did a fantastic piece on Hansel and Gretel. Hansel? And then next week... Hansel. And then next week we're back with the uh, fantastic Steve Muller, our host of Regular Geek Speak. He's back with a video next week. And then coming up after that, we'll have a, a Man Cave episode with Paul Mason. Yep. That's the final Man Cave one that we filmed. And yep. then we're, um, we alternate usually week to week. Then one week will be the lovely Geek Goddess Anna. And then the next will be the sexy Geek Speak host, Steve. So, And don't forget every Monday... We the, uh, we have our podcast, new podcast Geek Speak Live. every Monday and Monday nights podcast live. So so don't forget, boys and girls. So they're probably just sitting back, going, "My God, are these actually going to get together and do something?" Awesome. Yeah. But th- this is the thing, yeah. You know, we have to look forward to this. Is what the Naked Zombie Army, as I like to call them, because they are all fantastic listeners um, who do take the time to tune to the show and give us feedback and jump on the site. And we like to cross promote everything that we do, don't we? That's what it comes down to. It's just that the we do. Speak I even have, I have naked zombie undies on it as we speak. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. They've got I, Brad's I, face on the Can crutch. I see? Really? Yeah, go on, show mm-hmm. him. Show him. Go on, show him. Here you him. go, Freddie. Go Look. It looks. That's an elephant. What? No, Brad. Oh, the jocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a cherry tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone listening today has to go to facebook.com forward slash geekspeak TV and hit like. Yeah, definitely that's, do. Go, that's, go that's, and like that, that that's their mission today. Do it, or Brad's going to call up the Australian bush legend, the Kadaichi Man, the Australian version of the Boogeyman, to come and get you. The Kadaichi, the Kadaichi, Kadaichi Man. The Kadaichi Man. And do, do, we have to, do we have to spit and turn around three times now that you've said I don't know that? How word? You, I don't know how that came about. He's just the Australian version of the Boogeyman. Hey, guys. Aboriginal did, folklore, the Kadaichi was, Man. Was yes, it, Brad. Let's do that. I got you on. We're talking about. Um, was it the Bloody Mary thing happening? Or was that someone else? No, well, I'll take one if you're... If you're uh, okay, uh, okay. Up. I want you to do something for me. I want you to stand in front of your bathroom mirror. mirror with no, piss going. off. You know what? No, well, no, no come on. No. I'm, I'm fucking honest with you. Hang on, I'm suspicious like that, are you? Superstitious. Yeah. I'm suspicious and superstitious. I don't, I don't look at mirrors... At night time. It's surprising. You don't. How... I, it tr- this is a true thing. He will not look at a mirror at night time. Even when we're, on, we're traveling overseas, he feels the mirror is going to steal his soul. For the <laughs> and and, and, and I don't have one, so I haven't, got, I, haven't got, I haven't got much for them to take out, you know? But this isn't it funny? Like, I always put this across to people when I speak to them. It's like, go on. If, if you, you know, would you do it? Would you stand in front of a mirror and say, no, Bloody no. Mary, three times? And surprising, no. like, like, Rule of thumb oh, is no. nothing would happen, but it's surprising how many people won't do it. Do you say touch wood? Touch wood. Yeah, I do it all the time. I go, if, 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 you know, if I'm, I will hunt around. People think I'm crazy because I'll be looking around the shop and I've got to <laughs> put down, touch under the counter or something and go touch wood. Mm. And they're like, are you that superstitious? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. So what, are, hey, 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 say, so, hey. If hey. Ginger's in the shop, I touch something else because it's woody. <laughs> Oh, God. I shouldn't have made a toothpick, Brad. Get your mind uh, out of the fucking I, 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 th- I, think, I think it's... Uh, I think I'm going to have to put a special rating on tonight's show for some reason and, and charge like 20 to. bucks a friggin' episode, I think. For <laughs> uh, I apologise. I've I got, I got to pay for all the friggin' um, all, the, all, the, all the emails I've got to send back. <laughs> no, Brad, I, there was no way I would do that because yeah. as a child I was traumatised by a ghost that used to look over over my bed every night. Oh, that's right. I've heard you t- we were talking every about night. I think you were talking yeah, about into the mirror. Hey, how does that tie into the mirror? Because it's standing uh, behind you in the mirror, the mirror in your bedroom was no, it? no, 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 no. Um, Did he, he come from he, the as, as, as a child? He'd be standing in the middle of the room, looking over my bed, right? Yeah. And then, as I uh, got closer to say about ten years old, he'd be standing at the doorway, yeah. right? And that doorway, uh, on the other side of the door of the hallway of that door, was the bathroom with a huge, like six foot. Wide mirror. So you thought he'd come from the mirror? Or? No, I didn't know, but I'm just saying, if he could stand well, that close... Well, can't you look at a mirror any, because, at time? Because the whole thing is, if if you're staring in a mirror and you've got a um, a light bulb behind you, that the that it'll end up morphing into something I've got else. I no fucking idea what you're on about. Yeah. No, no, what what he's talking about is he had the seedy old uncle. <laughs> 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 Everyone's got a seedy old uncle, mate. Come on, actually, actually, my my nephew calls me the seedy old uncle. 
he, really? he, the, this, this bloke must have painted himself up blue too, you know. But he, did, did, was he blue? Semi-transparent. He wasn't really? a surf, was it? Do you think he, no. he, he drowned or something? Was he like a ghost who had drowned? No, I don't know. Which is was. really fucking weird because we live in the mountain city. Well, ap- apparently um, there, there was an old man who died in the house. Oh, really? Before my family moved so in. So it could have been him. It could have been him. Maybe his missus choked him or something. Maybe that's why he's blue. I don't know. I don't know why he was looking at me. He thought he was a fucking smurf. I maybe, don't know. maybe he was a priest. Hey? You might have done a Michael Hutchins, same with a fucking belt. Don't, don't say that. That's not nice. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was just reading a comic book. Keep going, guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, why are we doing your show for you? Hey, yeah, just go ahead. I'm, I'm just, hey, guess what I just found? I was went looking through my cupboard while you two were reminiscing about touching each other's willies. Yep. Um, I found an old comic book I drew back in 2002. No, really? really? Yeah, really. It's called Slugman. <laughs> it's, no, I'm serious. I'm not lying to you. It's based on a slug. And, Are you going to scan and, it and put it on the Facebook page? Yeah, I'm thinking about it, actually, because I just happened to go through. I'm just looking through it's under my desk here, and I've, I've been sorting stuff out, sorting some crap out of myself. And, and I just happened to pull this out and I said, my God, I have not seen this in years. And it's basically, I did this back in 2002, which was 11 years ago. And, um, my God, it's like, it's based on, you know, like the, the small um, things you find on newspapers. You know how those little strip comics? Mm-hmm. It was based on that sort of style. It was a strip comic, so it had three squares, and each square told a story, and that would be it. And um, I should actually take a couple of photos and scan it in. I'll do something with it. And I'm just looking do back it. and think, shit, I, I, I really sucked at drawing back then too. We, uh, in high school, <laughs> Todd and I come up with comic characters. Yeah? We did too, didn't we? It was... Um, Shh, don't tell them. Don't tell anyone. No, I might steal no. them. I want to publish it one day. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, you don't. Okay. No. Just, we just, let's just leave it at we came up with characters. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't Poo Poo Man and Wee Wee Girl, was it? Nope. No. Nope. nope. Well, but I tell you, that they, they were a new cool character. looking characters. <laughs> awesome. So what else? We might have to, we might have to get uh, uh, Matt Matt Wolf to, to draw it for us. This this new idea that yeah, we've got because he's good. Yeah, he's mm. Have you checked well, out? Matty you checked great. out his, his stuff. Matt is great. Oh, He's a talented artist. Seriously, dude. Him and him and him and Chantel are just friggin' amazing. Anyway, guess what? What? We've we've been going well over the hour for today. Oh shit, have we? <laughs> oh, buggy, Brad, I'm going home then, eh? Oh, fine, buggy. <laughs> we we, we uh, probably probably shouldn't have talked so much. Night, night, Brad. No, no. Anyway, listen. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me again on the Naked Zombie. It has been a pleasure and an honour having you both on tonight's show. As Sorry always, you, it, was, it was great. Uh, thanks for having us on. Uh, we love coming on for a chat. And uh, as I, said, I hope I wasn't too harsh on uh, a certain, uh, certain. <laughs> hopefully, hof- there, hopefully you don't get too much. Um, ho- hopefully, you don't get too hate, much mail. hate mail. Oh, look, look, seriously, dude, I'm, I'm not the one who's going to be getting the hate mail. I just put it out there. <laughs> yeah. See, that's, that's the thing. It's like that's why I look at it. It's like an investigative reporter, right? You're only reporting the story that's handed to you. Yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah, yeah. you're like it's a Harvey. Brisbane. Yeah, Peter Harvey. Uh, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming on, on tonight's show. It's always thank great you. fun. And thank you for being a part of Naked Zombie TV that's coming up. We start filming in April, middle of April. We should have everything ready to go. And then hopefully uh, we'll start producing the episodes out on the website by the middle of the year. I can't wait to see the set. I heard whispers of a set. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm working on the set at the moment, so mm-hmm. hopefully it will work out nicely. Now, I don't think it's going to be, Look, I used to build props for the film industry, but it's sort of like I'm no good with paper mache and crayons. <laughs> it's an awesome this is Jim. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, thank you again. And where can people Thanks, find Brad. Geekspeak? Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Geekspeak TV, YouTube.com forward slash Geekspeak Australia, and at Geekspeak AU on Twitter. And, and you can also, find me on the corner of Ruffin Street most Friday nights. And, yeah, I'm usually the one hiding in your pockets too. Um, thank you, guys. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining. And thank you, everyone, for listening to The Naked Zombie tonight. And if you have any questions or want to get in touch with the boys from Geek Speak, leave me out of it. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Just go forth. And Geekspeakau at gmail.com. And I'm sure they would love to hear from you. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> all right, Take guys. All on. Uh, have a great night. Have a safe night. And I'll be in touch Thanks, with you Brad. very, very soon. See you, mate. See you, guys. Bye. Yeah.